What's up guys, my name is Krista. Today we are going to go anchor by the sandbar and test out all of my systems on the boat for staying on the hook. Let's do it. trips planned. I want to test out all of my systems on the boat before I actually go. My solar, my anchor, my battery power, whatever else I'm forgetting. I need to test all of it before I go on these trips. So let's go. I moved my dinghy from the back of the boat up by the front. That way I don't have to take it over to the anchorage because I don't really need it today. You guys know the drill. Let's get the boat started and head over to the anchorage. Puppy life vests, always when we take the boat out. Little boat dog. Grumpy boat dog. We're now right by like a walkway, and so whenever someone walks their dogs, Kiki always sees them and barks. Pups, they're good to go. The electrical off. We're gonna send up the drone. For this one, we're gonna keep the wheel kind of straight for backing out because it's a much wider finger. And then we're gonna turn it all the way to the right instead of the left. Let's go take the lines off the dock. Electrical off. So this is my first time ever backing out of the slip, so let's see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. So we're just gonna take it nice and easy. Okay, so we cleared two pillars, which is good. Now we're gonna switch it back into forward. Both puppies are on the boat, so that's good. Here we go. All right, not bad for my first time backing out of this slip. That was better than expected. There's also like zero wind today, so it wasn't that difficult. I'm gonna slow it down because I am doing a drone shot. The other thing I need to do too is run down below and turn on my depth finder. We're gonna go anchor and I definitely need to see how deep it is. Look both ways. I haven't anchored this boat myself since last year. It's a lot of firsts today. First time anchoring this year. First time backing out of the slip, so that was exciting. We did a pretty good job. There's also like no boats in the anchorage today, so this should be fairly easy. I am going to turn us towards the anchorage and then run down below real quick and turn on the instrument so I can see how deep it is. I had to do that kind of quick because the instruments on is what controls my autopilot so I didn't have autopilot for that so I couldn't really show you guys. But we're going to switch down, push auto. There you can see my depth, it works. Okay. We do have a boat coming so we have to be a little cautious of that. Let's hope I anchor in time before the drone dies because that would be really bad. It's going to be a pretty simple anchorage today. There's not a lot of boats, there's not a lot of people, so this should hopefully go good. You know, let's not, let me not uh, jinx myself here. I haven't done it in a little bit, so I just want to focus on that right now. I think this is a good spot. The depth says 19 feet, so I think I'm gonna go let out a little bit more. See, what we want is the boat to be able to turn and swing back that way. Oh, okay, it's starting to swing back around, that's good. That means it's caught, but we just have to watch and make sure we don't drag. The anchor definitely caught, so I think letting out that little bit of extra was good. Our depth right now is at 18.6. Actually, we should have enough, because technically I put out 50 feet. You can tell my boat is starting to swing back, and I'm definitely not drifting anywhere. I am facing the exact same way that this boat behind me is facing. We're good. 
because we're in the same direction as them. I think the anchor's caught. I think we're good. I'm not gonna shut off the boat just yet, just to be sure. We did all of that in one drone battery, so I'm gonna get the drone back here before it dies because it's on 31%, so let's get the drone. I grabbed it again, we got it back, we're good. Whew, what a process. I was definitely nervous to do the drone, do the anchorage, and get it back, but we did it. Let's turn this off so it doesn't fly away. So I haven't used these in forever. This is where I hook these onto a cleat on each side, or the windlass here is not holding all of the load of the boat. So let's go ahead and set that up. Let's take the safety off. I'm just gonna leave the dock lines on. If I was staying here longer, I'd definitely take them off, but since I'm just gonna be here for the day, I'm not gonna take them off. I need to get one of these that isn't all rusty. So we have to connect these. And then this. There we go. Now you can see there's no tension on the chain. Now we get to test out our solar and all our other systems and troubleshoot things and hope everything works. Let's do it. So I am very confident that we are caught. The anchor is set, everything is good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the boat. The first thing I wanna do is check and see if the DC part of the fridge is working. So let's go do that. So this right here plugs into this for the DC fridge. Now you can hear it turn on, and there's those lights. Okay, so the fridge works. For the fridge, when I am at anchor for long periods of time, what I do is I connect it to the Dometic batteries during nighttime. I'll show you how all of that works on my next trip. It is super hot today. I'm gonna get these little monkeys some water real quick. The next thing we're gonna test out is the solar. Let me go get my solar panels. I have two solar panels. First, let's plug in the one on top of my Bimini so that it can charge the batteries. I definitely need to clean it. Um, bird poop is disgusting. This is where it plugs in right here. It's the same kind of plug as the fridge. This is where it plugs in right here. I'm gonna go check and make sure that the solar light is on now that this is plugged in. Hopefully all of this is still good. These connections do look a little rusty to me, probably from all of the rain, which is unfortunate because they are in weather sealed stuff, but I think it looks like when it was crimped that it kind of put a hole in the weatherproof things. So I have a feeling I might have to replace these. Hopefully not, we'll see. I have the connectors in case I need to do it anyway, even if we're on a trip. I'm gonna go ahead and go check and make sure this solar panel works. So we're back in the battery compartment. That's not good, that looks like it fell. It looks like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks like this fell off of the wall. That is not good. So you can see the light blinking there. I definitely need to get this back onto the wall. I don't like that it fell. So I think it was just put on with, it um, feels like tape. I want to secure it a lot better than that because obviously that didn't work. Ideally, I'd like to screw it into the wall. That's something that definitely needs to be fixed. I see right here I can screw it in. Yeah. That's gonna be a project. That for sure needs to be done. I gotta get some little screws and screw it in. And then I need to Google what the blinking red light means because I forget. I'm Googling the manual real quick. So I found the user manual for the solar charger. The green light is on, the red light is no longer flashing. The green light is on, which means the solar is connected and it's like receiving power, but it's not charging the batteries currently. So I'm gonna clean off the solar panel, possibly move my boom over so that the sun hits the solar panel more and then see if that makes it charge. Here's the before of the dirty panel and here's the after, much better. So the green light is on, which means it's still not charging. So I'm gonna move my boom over and then come and check it in a little bit. So we have to loosen this in order to move the boom over. I'm also gonna get a line that I can use as a stopper to keep the boom from swinging back this way. Perfect. Right about there. I'm gonna go tie the preventer, that way it stays over there and my solar panel has full sun. This has a lot more sun on it, hopefully it works. So far we're one for two with systems. The fridge works, the solar panels are technically connected but it's not a blinking green light. For now let's go get the other solar panels. These are my other solar panels, let's go set them up. I think right here it'll get really good sun and then we'll run the cables in through this hatch. Right here is where the connection is. Let's go get the cables. Look at the pirate ship. So cool. So we are gonna charge my dinghy battery. So this is the solar charger for it. It's gonna connect to those solar panels out there. We also have this one, which will connect to the solar panels. And I have an extension cord to make it easier. So I have the dinghy battery right here. I'm gonna connect this to right here. 
And I'm going to connect these together. Now I'm going to connect this end to the extension right here, and then I'm going to send it up through this hatch and connect it to the solar panels. All right, let's go up above and grab it. Okay, so we got it right here. I'm going to connect this to this one. All right, it should be working. Let's go check. Look, you can see the green light from here. It is fully charged already, but at least we know the system works. So that is two out of three systems checked. This solar panel, the one that's out on the bow of the boat, is the one that I will use to charge my Dometic batteries, which are these right here. And I use those to charge my phone, charge my iPad. I use them at night to run the fridge. That way I'm not drawing battery all night when this solar panel can't be hooked up. What else do I use them for? Basically whatever I need. I can uh, connect an inverter to it and plug in the TV if I wanna watch TV. I don't really use my electric stove unless I'm connected to shore power, so I don't need to use it for that because I have my gas stove. This is one of the best solar lights that I've ever got. Um, it is so bright and there's no batteries in it. This is just from solar charge. Let's take it down below so you can see how bright it is. That is just from solar. I don't know if you can tell how bright that is because it is daytime. Here it is with the second light on. It's so bright. Pretty cool. Another thing that I use my Dometic battery for is to charge my GoPro batteries. Very important. When it is super hot like today, I actually have an extra shade I can set up. This right here can roll out and connect to my Bimini and it turns into a shade. The cool thing about this shade is it can either roll out completely and attach to this clip or I can halfway roll it out and then attach it right here. That gives us a little bit of extra shade which is so nice when you're in the sun all day. It's a really calm day out here at the Anchorage which is nice. I'm kind of getting hungry and I kind of want to make a grilled cheese. Let's make sure my stoves work which I'm sure they will. This is really just an excuse to make lunch. Not the best meal I've ever made, but it'll do for today. <laughs> oh, Mr. Crab's plate. Good enough. Okay, I'm gonna relax for a minute and eat. We've been here for a little while. The sun is just about to go down, so I'm gonna bring in all of the solar and take the cover down. Since the sun's going down, I'm not planning on staying the night here. Let's go ahead and get the boat ready to go back into the slip. I'm gonna pull in the black lines that are keeping the load of the boat off of the windlass. Then we're gonna send up the drone and then we're gonna actually pull the anchor up. As you can see, the load is definitely now on the windlass. We also need to put the puppy's life vest back on. And our sun is gone. I'm gonna hose off the back swim step and make sure that my outside shower still works. Here. There it is. Okay, it still works. I'm gonna hose all this black stuff off. I'm gonna put this away. I have to screw that box into the side of the wall in the battery compartment. Other than that, everything works really well and I'm excited for my trips coming up. First things first, let's start up the boat. I had to put in the uh, fuel stopper or whatever you guys call it and then it started right up. All right, we're gonna launch the drone. First of all, facing the wrong way. But I had to run the chain the opposite direction, like uh, let it out a little bit so the chain got back on the right tracks and then it worked fine. Once it got to the anchor roller, it kind of didn't have enough strength or wasn't tight enough 
on the chain to pull it up so it kind of came out and I had to pull it up by hand but that's okay I tied it off with the line so that way the windlass is not holding any of the load and then as soon as we're back into dock I'm gonna get the chain back into the windlass The reason I don't want to go in front of that boat is because I don't want to cross over their anchor line. We successfully got the anchor up. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to turn in. <gasps> this is crazy. Okay, it's directly opposite of where I was. So all of the systems on the boat are doing really good. I'm pretty happy with my test run today. I'm ready to go to Catalina and Newport and wherever else. Okay, this is where I turn. Right now I have to worry about getting in my slip for the second time ever. So I have my dinghy in the front of the slip. I have to make sure I stop before I hit the dinghy because I don't really want the dinghy to be like my crash pad. So I have to make sure I really get in and reverse pretty good. The slip is a lot easier to get into than the other one, knock on wood, just because the finger is so much wider. So it's definitely nice. All right, let's do some pretty heavy reverse right here. And I wanted us a little more this way. So let's hit reverse again. I'm not really on the side I wanted to be on. That's okay. This was not one of my best dockings, but we're successfully back in the slip. I feel really confident with every uh, system on my boat. Everything works really good. The only thing I really have to fix is the one solar system and make sure it's attached to the wall. Other than that, everything runs smoothly. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.